been really cool to see people just coming together and talking in New York City. And on its own, I think that's a huge accomplishment. These protests seem to be very varied, as you said yourself. All walks of life. Teachers, doctors, nurses, sanitation workers, you know, just everybody. Um, I don't, you know, that includes musicians, though. Yeah, and musicians, artists of all, of all sorts, you know. I think musicians have a really special role in Occupy Wall Street. They're not really complaining. Um, it's kind of hard to complain while you're playing music. Music is a, a, a common thread that, that pulls people together. It's definitely celebration music, but at the same time, I think you can really hear the need for action. The concept of music and the inspiration of music is almost more important than any particular genre in the context of the project. Yeah, you know, the, the idea of, of creation, the idea of the rally and cry. Whereas, you know, there's no, no Dylan emerging or birds or, you know, that kind of thing, like where somebody really taking the mantle. things you notice about Occupy or any of these protests around the country is that the dynamic between police and protesters is really crazy. It really makes you think about what they're feeling when they're doing their job every day. jobs to do, and uh, there's always going to be the rogue cop, there's always going to be the asshole, just like in every profession and every walk of life, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't reflect, you know, they, they should be marching too, because they're, for the job they do, they are so grossly underpaid, you know, they're one of the poorest paid police forces in, in the nation, actually, and, and they're, you know, one of the most complex. They should be there.